Well, let me just. Uh, this is probably the one time when I'm on, when I'm using PS4. I don't really need to open the. Um, my own stream. You should really bring the Knights of with you next time. The chat will appear on the right side. Um, I'm just gonna quickly post a thing. I'm just setting this up. I also have to make sure it's working. I apologize about the random background noise. Uh, I'm just. Why wasn't it muted? Well, uh, you get to listen to, the, to I, my own stream. You take a rest for that brief back. period of moment. Uh, I was trying to save it and post it. Now that's out of the way. So, basically what I'm going to do, I have 158 orbs. Uh, I definitely posted in my chat that I had 160 plus, which is for reasons. Because um, I'll be getting more stuff to buy the free intertwined fates from this, from the shop. Uh, buying well not not with my own physical money I guess I technically probably shouldn't have wrote savings but by savings I meant my orbs a uh, new character in Genshin Impact boop -a boo oh that doesn't I can't pop open that menu I don't know if those menus work nope they don't okay Okay, so I can't open the history box, but that's fine. So, I'm currently, what, 20? No. I think I'm 20 summoned, so that, no. I, yeah, I have 70 out of 90 pity for a 5-star character. Uh, as for weapon, I think I got a 5-star weapon in the last 5, so that's a fresh start. Um, so 20 summons into this and I'll get the new character guaranteed, but as for the weapon itself, um, guaranteed 5 star items is every 90, although you can get it earlier. So yeah, I'm going to start with just getting the character and then trying to get the weapon. And then if I have any orbs left over, uh, I'll try and get a constellation for the character. So yeah, um, without further ado, let's uh, do a 10 wish pull and see if we... Wow, okay. Um... Five star is supposed to be at 90, but I guess I'll get it in 80. Useless junk, useless junk, more useless junk. This is all three star stuff, it doesn't matter. Okay, yep, there's the character. Oh, hey, I got a Diona. And a Favonius Codex. So, two four star items and a five star. So, I got the new character, that's great. That uh, that certainly did not take long. All right, I guess we can go for the weapon now. Oh. 
Um, okay. <laughs> I guess I'm just a hacks god tonight. That's fine. Man, it's probably, honestly, so I've been watching so many videos of people doing their summons and stuff. So they get Yaimiko on the, they, they generally always get Yaimiko first for the five star character. But whenever they go for the weapon, they usually get a, the primordial jade cutter and not the Kagura's Verity. Uh, one, two... Okay, so... That was what, like... Six? Six into the character banner? I think. And then eight into the weapon banner? What the frick? <laughs> awesome! I still have 138 orbs! Well, time to just go for the character banner, I guess. See if we can get C1. See if we can get some constellations. Where's all this useless junk? Oh hey, I got a Toma. Take that C... I want to say C2. But it could be C1. It might be C1. Uh, shop. Boop, 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 boop. There, now, now it's 160. I'm still 50 short of buying all the acquaintance fates. Uh, boop, boop, boop. I'll check all the my spoils after. Um,. Nah. Well, I don't need any more of the weapon, so I'm just gonna keep summoning on the banner and see what happens. Man, I can't believe it was like six for the character, not guaranteed, and like what? I, can't, I think I said eight. Ooh, Yoon Jin, new character. I don't have a Yoon Jin yet. Boo boo boo. Four star Geo character, which means uh, free, free acquaint fates, because that's pretty much all you do with new characters is you level them up and you get their acquaint fates, and then you just dip out, and never use them again. Um, I mean, some people have use for some characters. I just don't use many other characters. No, I don't want your world join request. Man, I should really be counting because this is some early character pulls here. Mmm, I'll take a Kaching. Another Toma. Another Diona. A Favonius Sword. Three four stars and a five star. Um, so Kaching is really nice because I actually have a pretty well built Kaching on mine. So I don't mind another constellation for her. I still have 110, so I'm guaranteed C1 Yamiko. Ooh. I've got some serious hacks going on right now. Another Toma. Two Tomas. I feel like Toma's gonna be C6 before I finish <laughs> getting, spending all my orbs. <laughs> What do we get this time? Some trash. Another Favonius sword. 
Honestly, this is some of the luckiest pulls I've ever had. Well, I'm still getting constellations for him. I don't know what I'm at, though. I've gotten what? One, two, three, four, five. So he's either currently C5 or C6. Okay. I don't think this video will be more than an hour, honestly. Pretty much after I'm done my summons, then I'm going to test the character out and, and see how that goes. I don't need another Zing Ling. I already have her C6. God damn it. Well, I guess we'll just take the, the Masterless Star Glitter. Or, yeah. I think it's star glitter. And then the star dust is the purple stuff. Anyways. Uh right. Well we have 80 left. So there's like almost no point in going for an R2 weapon. I mean I suppose there could be, but it doesn't like increase any of the base or substats. Um So for people that don't under that don't play Genshin Impact. Uh, when you get a five-star character that's not part of the banner, um, then the second, the one you get after that will be put, will be guaranteed the banner character. So because I got Kaching last time, I was guaranteed Yaimiko this time. Okay, so I'm left with seventy. So based on the amount of masterful star glitter I have. Or master, I don't know if it's master list, master. Well, anyways, um, it's very likely I could get another five star from the banner. So we'll see what happens. Honestly, uh, the smart thing to do would be to start saving the rest of my orbs for the next banner that comes out in the second half of this month. Or I guess. Technically, actually, I think that banner actually starts in March. Okay, yeah, I have him C6 already, so that's cool. Um, who's the only one on the banner I don't have C6? I think it's Diona. I already have C6 Fischl and, and Toma. Oh, lordy. Man, Dylan's such a liar. He said he was, he's like, I'll, I'll watch your stream if you follow me. I followed him and he did, he's not watching it. I mean, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's streaming right now. Well, that's, you know, I guess that's him. That's fine. <laughs> he, he can do him. I'll, I'll bring it up later on Friday in stream. Oh, look, another C5. Now the question is, can we win 50-50 and get a C2? Oh boy. The rest of this is probably just trash. Well, I'm still getting uh, constellations for Diona, so I don't know if she's C6 yet. I'm probably never going to use Diona, so that's fine. Um, all right, yeah, okay. We take those. Uh, so I have 50 left. So that leaves me with 90. I have enough for, what is 75 divided by five? That's 15, no, yeah, right, 15? I'm so dumb, I could just do that and it would tell me. I'll just leave those in there for now. I Honestly, I should probably not use any more of those because I should save the rest of my <laughs> orbs for the next banner. <laughs> and see if I can get Raiden. Okay, I feel like Diona's probably C6 now.
Yeah, she, okay, she, she was seasick last time, okay. Well, got 40 left! It, it'd be really, like, awesome if I could just get, like, two 5 stars and one 10 pull. That'd be cool. Phonius Warbo. I don't think that's interesting. Man, out of all the stuff that's not banner related, can I get like a what's it? Oh. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Also, my orb count was obtained without, um, without using IRL money, which is great. This was all just obtained in-game. I also completely ignored the official because I don't care. <laughs> I just, I just don't. <laughs> 20 left, okay. Oh, what do we got in here? Probably more garbage, honestly. Another coma. Bonius, don't no, sacrificial bow. Uh, I don't know if sacrificial bows. I guess it's good for. Probably good for characters I don't have. All right, we still got ten left. Another official, and probably nothing. Yeah, okay. Uh, cool. So let's just you really bring the Knights of Favonius with you next oh, time. Oh right, yeah. Hold on. Hog. All right, cool. So I got a constellation for Kaching, which gives me normal and charge attacks hit opponents affected by Electro. They have a fifty percent chance of producing an elemental particle. Um, I don't know. I don't have a uh, big brain, so I don't. I don't know if that's useful or not. Boop, boop, Diona. Within the radius of signature mix, Diona's charge time for aim shots are reduced by sixty percent. That's pretty cool. Upgrade to, I think, the skill. And within Signature Mix's radius, we'll gain the following effects based on their HP amounts. Increased incoming healing bonus by 30% when HP falls below or is equal to 50%. Elemental Mastery is increased by 200 when HP is above 50%. Okay. Some stuff for Toma. I got all of his. When a character is protected by Toma's own blazing barrier, Toma excluded is attacked. Toma's own blazing blessing cooldown is decreased. While his own crimson or yuri cooldown is decreased by three seconds. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, the duration of the skill is increased by three seconds. Upgrade to his. I want to say. Um, after using Crimson on your 15 energy will be restored. He gets an energy restore. His alt, his burst, gets increased by three levels. When blazing barriers obtained or refreshed, the damage dealt by all party members, normal charge, and plunging attack is increased by 15%. Uh, cool, cool. Oh yeah, I got Eugene, Eugene as well. Oops. Uh, cool. Um, Constellation. Okay, so each time Great Soccer 
Se Secret Art Tenko Kinshin activates. The Tenko Thunderbolt Yamika will restore eight elemental energy for herself. So now I've actually watched a couple breakdown videos. I understand what this means. So whenever I use my burst, each of the Thunderbolts, which is a maximum of four, restores eight energy. Is that right? Uh, wow, this has a lot of text to it. Summons Lightning Strike dealing AoE. When she uses this skill, Yamiko will unseal nearby Sesha Sakura, destroying their outer forms and just transforming them into Tenko Thunderbolts. Okay, so it's not the main part of the burst, it's the secondary effect of the burst. So it is only three. So it's three times eight, which is 24 en elemental energy for herself. Which is good because her burst is one of the highest costs in the game, tied with Raiden for 90. So I automatically take 24 off. Fox's Moon Call. Start at level 2. When created, their max level is increased to 4. And their attack range is increased by 60%. That is her skill. Um, it'd be better just to show what, what it does rather than... Uh, talk about it. Let me just uh, go ahead and fully upgrade the weapon here. It would be great if I didn't have so many weapons because this is just... Wait. I'm pretty sure I have enough upgrade material. If I didn't farm enough upgrade material for the weapon as well, then I'm just dumb. Oh good, I ran out of weapons. So now it's just using my ore. Ah, this is going to take so long to fully ascend the weapon. Oops, I didn't put the materials in. Boop, boop, boop. So the weapon is base attack with the substat, or I guess the secondary stat of crit damage. Which is nice because uh, Yamiko when you ascend her, scales her um, crit rate. So you can easily get well over 50 crit rate with her. Um, so having her weapon with crit damage is really nice. Uh, the details for the weapon is whenever you use a skill, um, when using an elemental skill, causing the elemental skill damage of the character wielding this weapon to increase. So. Yeah, so when using, when every time you use a skill, it increases the skill damage by 12% for 16 seconds. Max is three stacks. So if I use the skill three times, it increases obviously the damage by three times. Which is why this weapon is pretty much made strictly for her. There's a couple characters that uh, their weapons are really good for them, except for Zong Li where the Staff of Toma is better. Um, so yeah, that weapon weapon's good. Uh, it has less base attack than the Skyward Atlas. But Skyward Atlas doesn't give 30 or 66% crit damage with skill damage increase. It's pretty lame in comparison. So this is the what Witsit that I was talking about, because it also has base attack with scale crit damage. And it can also give you an attack increase of like 75% and whatnot, but I don't have R5, and R5 is just barely a little worse than the Kagura's Verity. So the fact that I only have R2 is makes it just that much worse. Um, yeah, I'm not a big player. I don't have big things in my account. <laughs> I say that, but I have quite a bit of five-star equipment. Uh, also, 
for people that do play this game and know, um, yes, this is in fact a pay item which you get from the Battle Pass. Yes, we can the Battle Pass is the only thing I have ever put money into because, you know, it gives you extra like money and stuff and these fates. But it's only like, I think, 12 to 20 dollars, I don't know, it's not much. I don't like shove money into anything else, except for this costume for Kachin, because it's awesome. Anyways, back to the ascending of the character, which I really should have just gone left instead of right. Uh, boo, boo, boo. I'm just gonna skip any details regarding the ascension and whatnot. Yeah, it's a crit rate. The training required to. Yeah, there is voice lines. That's cool. Not here for the voice line. I uh, I definitely pre-farmed like all of the stuff before and I had collected all the materials required to fully level Attaining the her to level 90 as well as her talents to maximum except for the fact that you need the new weekly boss materials so I can only go up to talent level 6 until I get the new boss material uh throughout and look at that she's now a higher level character than some of my other characters god that was hella expensive free acquaint fates actually while i'm here I'm gonna snag this Quaint Fate from her. Um, okay, yeah, so level 90, level 90 weapon. Right, artifacts. Um, I don't have the best artifacts. I mean, I have some decent ones, but I definitely do not farm artifacts as hard as some people. Now, I already made artifacts ready and I stuck them on Lisa just as a placeholder so I could find them easier. At least I assume I am clicking on the ones for Lisa. Unless I am blind. Two thousand attack, that's pretty good. Seventeen thousand HP, two thousand attacks, seven hundred defense, one twenty two elemental mastery. 61% crit rate with 218 crit damage. Yeah, that could be better. That could certainly be better, but oh well. But it comes with 46% electro damage. Uh, I will probably look through all that stuff later. These are all the characters I have. Um, I have a few five stars. Uh, the ones I like playing with the most is definitely Kaching and Zhao. Uh, Yanfei's pretty fun, and the official Barbara combo has become really freaking funny to play. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and take over Kaching's place in the team. So I can test the new character. All right, amuse me. God, she's taller than everybody here. I didn't switch my team. God damn it. Okay. Uh, let's go find some enemies to just merc. Do, do, do. 
probably would have been faster if I had just teleported to a location that's very close to where enemies normally spawn. Why do the trees look like they're 2D models? I guess I'm just too high in the sky and it's just made everything 2D models so the game doesn't fucking chug or something. <laughs> I said I'm... Oh, well, there's enemies over there. I'm taking fire damage. Hello. How are you guys doing? Right here. Emerge. Oh my god. That actually does quite a bit of damage. I'm not very good at dodging, unfortunately. But it's okay, I make up for my lack of dodging skill with... You missed me. God, this is it's hard. I can't. I'm not paying Damn enough attention to what I what damage I am doing in comparison to what damage is being done by other things. Which is why I should probably just strictly figure that out. Let's do with these guys. Okay, I probably shouldn't be using that. Okay. So, base attack does... Where's crit? Hold on, I want crit, damn it. Okay, so crit is 1,700. Charge attack does 6,000, that's pretty cool. Emerge. Right now. Okay, wow, that just does straight up 7,000, that's pretty cool. I've seen videos of people doing, like, uh, what's it called? Uh, it does like 11k per hit or something. A little interesting fact, so... Let me just kill this dude real quick. Right now. Right here. Let's mark this dude real quick. Okay. So, one interesting thing about this character that I find really cool. So, when I start attacking, you can see the weapon sort of just floats out and stuff, right? So the weapon's out when, when, cat, when catalysts use their weapons. Or when they usually make their basic attacks. Uh, the weapon doesn't do that because she's not attacking with her catalyst. She's merely just commanding spirits to attack. When she does her charge attack though, that's when the weapon comes out. Right Same now. Like... Emerge. Right now. Uh nope, doesn't do it with her skill. What What? Oh right. Yeah, the 60% range increase, which is nuts. It's attacking that freaking torch over there. Um, so not with the skill. Does Let's Barbara dance. do it with the skill? Yeah, Barbara's skill does it as well. So, the skill... The, the skill and basic attack doesn't do it. Um, okay, so plunging attack does. So that's pretty neat. Um, now here's what we're going to do to finish off this session. I specifically saved enough resin and this boss fight. Oh, I just realized I was doing uh like 7000 damage with the skill and I haven't even used any talent upgrade books. So those numbers were low.
Yeah, as you can see, it goes up by like around, I don't know, 10% or so. Well, that's for like the last hit. Or for the charged attack, 11%. Here, let, let's see what the starting is. So the starting is, we're going to go with level 4 because that's when all three of my Sakura... To uh, to what is it? Totems? I guess totems. When all three of them are in are in a triangle formation, it they puts the skill damage to level four. So the base is 118 percent. Let's see what level six is. So level six is 165 from 118. That's what I said, right? 118? So that's pretty cool. Um, let's go to Burst. Burst is already pretty high damage. The base damage is only 260, but the Tenko Thunderbolt is 334, and that's times three if you have all three of her skill up. I haven't used her Burst yet because I didn't want to waste the energy I had saved up. Okay, so from 330% to 467% and from 280 to 364. So uh, big big number. The main the main attack now does more than the starting Tango Thunderbolt damage. So it'll be interesting to see how much damage this does. I just spent like 4 million gold. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I was getting smacked in the actual fight, so I'm going to do the level 80 version. Yeah, I'm going to use Electro. <laughs> don't worry about it. If for some unforeseen accident happens where I get one-shotted, I can at least revive once. So yeah, after this boss fight, I think I'll probably end the video. Or end the stream. Um, we got to the Taka and Makoto. We'll continuously absorb Ominous Destiny and we'll gain more upon hitting characters. When Ominous Destiny is filled up, she will enter Baleful Shadow Lord form. What the heck? Active characters will lose elemental energy at intervals. That's not fun. gain great damage resistance and deal more fatal attacks. Use the appropriate elemental attacks to disable this form quickly. Oh no. The appropriate elemental attacks? It's telling me to use cryo then. Ow. Man, just look at that damage I'm building up. Get out of my way. To behold. Oh, I just wasted that. <laughs> I completely just whiffed it. As you wish me. Oh man, that music thing is freaking awesome. No, she took my elemental charge away. Big sword swing. Right here. In 
I just took all my elemental charge away. I'm never gonna burst her. Oh my god, that just does nothing to, to Barbara. And they're whopping 32,000 AP. Skillful gaming. Oh god, get out the way! Ouch. Your stupid electro shield can't protect you from my attack. Emerge right now. Emerge. Nothing lasts forever. Twenty-four thousand, and that was the base hit. The uh, the additional attacks would have done like thirty thousand. Okay, so that that's how that goes. Um, what is this? I only got one of the boss fight rewards. That's... I feel ripped off. I mean, I know, like... I know the level 90 fight guarantees you two. But even in the level 80 fight, you can sometimes get three. And I just get one? Rude. Well, that was, uh, that was a thing. Do, wait, why am I in my inventory? I don't want to be in my inventory. I want to go to the character. Uh, talents. Let's go ahead and, not the right one. Okay. And I didn't even get the one she needs. Uh, I can rectify that pretty quickly. Hold on. Where's a good place to test her skill? Oh, I know a good place. Although I guess her other turtles would probably die instantly. Actually, I know a great target. I do know a great target. So, I'm going to shoot for 45 minutes for elapsed time. Uh, I came here to use this. Crash. Is it this one? No, oh, it's this one. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Boss materials. Boop -a doop -a doop -a doop. But I don't want that boss material. I want this boss material. I have a ton of those items, so. Yeah, we're gonna upgrade the scale to seven. What did I even get in here? Is this for... Oh, using all my resin in a day. Okay. I've got some leftover resin that I'll probably use later. Um, so we're gonna go over here. I find that my PS4, like the stream is much smoother than it is on my Xbox, and I'm not really sure why. Oh, it is raining. This is free real estate. Right here. Emerge. Right here. Okay, th those are doing 11,000. <laughs> Like, on their own, they're doing 11,000. So that's about what other people were doing. 
I mean, I'm not even running like two pyro characters for the pyro buff. Uh, do do do. Where is big other enemies that I can? Do do do. I think there's a ruin guard. Actually, I know where a ruin guard is. Let's go back to Monstat. I don't know where any rune raiders are. I suppose I could go fight a boss and see what boss damage is. Actually, this is an excellent opportunity to check which items Yunjin needs for her ascension. Oh no, I hate that. Oh. All right. I just want to test. I'm not gonna fight the Rift Town because that's that could take a millennia. I don't know how hard that fight's gonna be. Let's go. Uh, Let's go fight this boy and see how much damage the burst does. You're gonna shoot missiles at me, aren't you? Emerge. Set to 17k and then 322. Why, why did it do more in the Raiden boss fight? Okay, well, you can deactivate. I don't know. They definitely did more in the Raiden boss fight. I wonder if they had higher element of resistance or something. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not a big nerd. Alright, well, anyways. Um... Got the new Enkonomia event with the free weapon coming out tomorrow, so... I'll enjoy playing that. Uh... Oh no, I think I did pretty amazing on this. Like, eight pulls for the weapon and then just C2 for Yamiko. That's pretty awesome. Good to go brag to my friend. I'll tell him. I'll tell him about it. Anyways, so yeah. Boo -ch -ch -boo. Oh, I'm one short. That annoys me so much. Wait. Wait, hold on. Shop. Oh, I do still have one left to buy. Okay, wait. I know where I know how we're gonna end this video. Damn. It would have been so funny. <laughs> Ah, oh, the laughs I would have had. To be fair though, um, I'm pretty sure I literally just came from having a, uh, um, a five star in this banner. Like, it was like literally the last thing I got and it was a Chi Chi. Most humans could have been. Okay, so I have... Constellation 2 for Kaching, Constellation 2 for Yaimiko, Constellation 2 for Diluc, nothing for Zongli, Constellation 1 for Chi Chi, nothing for Jean. I don't ever get Jeans. No one gets Jeans. And then now I'm just sitting here with a couple C6 characters now. So that's pretty fun. You can tell I don't summon often, because not a lot of my characters are C6. I'm surprised Beto's even C5. Traveler's always C6 for everybody. Everybody has C6. I almost said C6 Yanfei, and that's what I'm that's what I'm hoping for. But uh Yeah anyway, so that'll be the end of this video. Right here, right now. Oh, I got stuck on the wall. She has a little, she has a little wolf thing or fox thing she does, which is pretty cool. Also, her ears wiggle. I don't know. That's pretty great. All right.
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end it now. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed it as much as I did. I mean, I don't know if you, if anyone enjoyed it as much as I did. I got so many C or level five characters, or five items, level five items, in such a short amount of pulls. So out of 160s, what I did, I did roughly exactly 160. I got three Imikos, one Kaching, and the Kagura's Verity. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Five, five star items and 160 pulls. That's not bad, considering guaranteed pity is like 90. So I had guaranteed like one item and almost two. Yeah, so I will uh, see everyone back on Saturday for a normal stream time where I continue my Minecraft adventures in the wither. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, feel free to check that out. There should be a playlist for that. I don't know if I have a play. I don't know if I'll be sticking this in a playlist or not. We'll fight. We'll figure it out after. Anyways, um, yeah. Bye. Boo. Where do I end it? Stop.